you think primary students must be given this question? We are given this equation, and it is told that x and y belong to real numbers. So, what will be the value of x plus y? Let this be r. We know that x plus y whole square equals x square plus y square plus 2xy. Put x plus y as r, and this as 7. So r square equals 7 plus 2xy. This gives 2xy equals r square minus 7. And this gives xy equals r square minus 7 over 2. Now we know that x plus y whole cube equals x cube plus y cube plus 3xy times x plus y. Put x plus y as r and x cube plus y cube as 10. We get r cube equals 10 plus 3x y r. So 3x y r equals r cube minus 10. This gives x y as r cube minus 10 upon 3 r. But from here, we have x, y as this. So equate both of them to get r square minus 7 over 2 equals r cube minus 10 upon 3 r. Cross multiplying will give 3. r cube minus 21, r equals 2, r cube minus 20. On rearranging, we get r cube minus 21, r plus 20 equals 0. We can clearly see that if we put r equals 1, then r cube equals 1, minus 21, r becomes minus 21, and plus 20 equals 0. So our minus 1 is a factor of this equation. Now write this equation as r cube minus r square plus r square. We can do this as this is nothing but adding minus and plus r square, which is 0 only. Then minus 21, r can be written as minus r minus 20, r, and then plus 20 equals 0. Now take our square as common, and this times our minus 1, plus take our as common, and this times our minus 1. From this, take minus 20 as common, and it will be our minus 1. So now take our minus as common, and we have our minus 1 times our square, plus our minus 20 equals 0. This will give our as 1. Now for the equation, our square plus our minus 20 equals 0. Write this r as plus 5r and minus 4r. Take our common from here, and we have r times r plus 5. And from this, take minus 4, and we have minus 4 times r plus 5. This factors out as r plus 5, and r minus 4 equals 0, which gives r equals minus 5, and r equals 4. So finally, we have x plus y, or r equals 1, r equals 4, and r equals minus 5. But here comes the twist. We want x and y as real numbers. Now notice this x square plus y square as 7. Its graph will be like this, a circle. First consider x plus y as minus 5. Its graph will be like this. So it is clear from the plot that no solution exists for x and y as both of these graphs never intersects. Now consider x plus y as 4. Its graph will be like this. So it is also clear from the plot that no solution exists for x and y as both of these graphs do not intersect. Finally, consider x plus y as 1. Its graph will be like this. We can see intersection for this value of x plus y, and therefore x plus y equals 1 is the only valid solution for this question. So good.